What's the last few months been like for you? Because this album really seemed to explode back in March. I think you've spent four weeks atop the alt country charts. And at least from a national perspective, I don't think at that point before the album came out, a whole lot of people nationally in, uh, knew who you were. Is there is there something we don't know or has it all been kind of crazy for you too? Um, It's been, um, it, the album got a lot of recognition, which was really nice. Um, but, uh, it's been a gradual climb. I've been doing this for a while. I've been on the road pretty nonstop for the past four or five years. Um, but it was definitely nice for the album and I hadn't released a debut album yet. So I had released a couple singles and, um, and the one that kind of sparked some attention and kind of broke me out of my local scene was my grass is blue. And so once that got a little bit of attention, um, the guy I wrote it with and who's also the pro producer and co-writer of the entire album, the old school album, we just thought, well, maybe there's other people like us that love old school country. Let's just do a whole album. Like it was people are responding well to it. And this is what we love. So, so we did that and we worked on it for maybe a year and a half, put it out and then, um, all independent grassroots. And, um, it did start getting a bit of a buzz. And so, um, there's a lot, you know, a lot more to grow, of course, and, uh, continue onward, but I'm very grateful for, for what happened and, uh, the recognition it has gotten. And we just got back from a three month tour and, uh, pr promoting this album. So it has been a, a little crazy, but it's, um, I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> you told us a little bit about how, um, the the singles came together um but you've been dropping singles for a little bit and then the album just kind of came together was that the plan or you know was that that plan all along or did you to just drop the album in such a big way um i wasn't planning on doing an album i wasn't even sure if i was um i i was having a lot of self doubt with music at in the time that i wrote my grass is blue um so I've been doing this old school country thing for, for a hot second and it didn't really get any attention. And, uh, and I've been traveling the country and just really slowly like gaining traction with people. Um, so, uh, so that wasn't the plan. I was just like, we're just going to do singles. But then once it got, um, my grass is blue got initially basically discovered by saving country music. And then once that happened, the ball started rolling. And then so we, we'd already released a whole bunch of singles or, or maybe two, not a whole bunch, but maybe two or three. And so we're like, let's just home them, finish this up and make a whole album, like a concept album that's called old school and is, you know, captures my heroes and idols of a time that I thought was really cool. And that music was peaking. 